This is a special week. It's a special week to practice being alive, alert, awake, and enthusiastic about life. And I share a message with you now on Monday and Tuesday, and then on Tuesday also on our Prayer America television channel, I'm going to share a special prayer to give us a boost in this. Our lives may seem to run more smoothly when we're surrounded by pleasant, positive people at work and at home. And yet, sometimes because of negative attitudes that we're surrounded with, it may be a challenge to express zeal or enthusiasm in work and in manners and attitudes because it seems like we get infected by it. However, you can add a new spark and determination or give greater meaning to the most mundane chore, even something you don't like to do, even something that is a job that is repetitious and you can change everything. How? Through a change of attitude. You bring yourself into that situation as a new person, doing it for the first time with that attitude. And you have a sense of personal satisfaction and joyous expectancy that brightens all of your activities. You become alive. You become awake Instead of asleep going through the process, you become alert and you become enthusiastic about your life. And it brightens everything. At any age, we can anticipate life's unfolding adventures. At any age, we can look forward to new ways of doing things and receive greater insight into whatever interests us. We can learn and we can grow and become the very best that we can be through our enthusiasm and our steadfast faith in God and in ourselves. It says in Revelations this, Revelations 21 verse 6, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give from the fountain of the water of life without payment. Well, ask God today to make you more alive. Ask God to make you more awake. Ask God to make you more alert. And ask God to make you more enthusiastic about life. And you will become what you ask for. I pray you do. It'll be a fantastic week if you do. God bless you.